Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So yesterday brought us the ADP private payrolls that actually managed to surprise the market and come in a little bit higher than expected, coming in around about 217,000 versus 190 and change expected. What that's done is caused the uh, equity markets to kind of tail off a little bit because basically it just adds extra weight to uh, the argument for that December rate hike, which seems almost a formality at this stage. But now it's all focused on the trajectory of future rate increases. Is this going to be the only increase we're going to see for quite a few months or are we going to see an acceleration as time goes on? And today also brings us the ECB decision on uh, monetary policy. That's right about lunchtime as well. And then we've got non-farm payrolls on Friday. Obviously, that's going to be quite a big deal as well. And then you're looking at the 16th of December for the FOMC meeting where they'll make that fateful decision about U.S. interest rates. Janet Yellen coming out last night saying she's looking forward to her first interest rate hike in almost a decade, adding extra weight to the argument that December is, in fact, going to be lift off on the rate question. So 17,747 is potential support on the U.S. 30. Uh, and that also coincides with that 21 period SMA. So then jumping on to the UK 100, failure to break and close above 64.15, doji formation, very volatile session in the UK markets yesterday. Uh, still on the wrong side of there just now. This is the pivot level to be aware of. So then jumping on to Japan 225, interday charts tell me it did nothing for most of the session yesterday before it tailed off. Uh, and we are still failing to break above 20,087. Began to look quite top heavy here. The other technicals massively flattened out. Uh, that the 21 period moving average is going to be uh, chasing up quite quickly behind those candles. So that'll be interesting to have a look at. Then looking at dollar yen. Dollar yen is just ever so slightly grinding higher towards 124.42. In fact, the dollar managed to gain a little bit of momentum yesterday uh, on the back of that ADP private payrolls. And uh, but all eyes will be on euro dollar later on in the session. Looking then on crude oil West Texas, closed above four, below 40 for the first time uh, since August. Uh, and obviously it's been, it's been lower, but it closed lower than $40 for the first time. Uh, very negative candle right here. $37 is the next potential support, followed by 35.30. We've had a, a modest rebound this morning, but it, 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 on the intraday charts, it's looking uh, like there's a lot of pressure on the price anyway. And following on from a big negative candle like this, it's going to feel a little bit of pressure. Um, but the tips of the candles down here, the low of the day yesterday was around about $39. So that will be, it's only about 60 cents away from there, but that's a, an important level as well. Uh, and that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. Um, that was obviously on the back of, I believe, your inventories that were much higher than expected again. So massive amounts of crude in storage, basically, and people are holding on to it, um, which means they're not really using it, they're just storing it, which means the supply, there's a massive supply glut and crude, uh, and those figures just add to that. You can see after the ADP private payrolls, gold uh, initially went towards uh, 1,042 before it managed to stage a very modest comeback. So if we then look at this from a weekly perspective yet again, where is the next potential support level? So going, you could take the tips from down here, but that'd be a little bit boring. That kind of almost coincides too nicely with what we have here. Uh, I'm gonna go for down here. And actually, I'm going to remove this and take this across because that's possibly going to be a more significant, that's definitely going to be a more significant potential support. And we're going to put this level in here as well because that could be, that would obviously be a pretty punchy move if I'm completely honest, but you've got to think about the fundamentals here as well. So this is where we currently are. Redrawing the levels, it looks to be that 1,031 could be the next potential support level, which means we're kind of in the middle of two ranges with 1,072 being the next potential resistance. Finishing up with GB, with the Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar, we're looking at 1.0524 being potential support. We're off the session lows yesterday. We're grinding a bit lower again this morning. It's going to be volatile, depending on what comes out from Janet Yellen. Now. There could be quantitative easing, they could cut rates. There's a lot of different things that they could go ahead and do. Uh, we just have to wait until later on in today's session to find out. And that is going to be uh, 12.45 for the, uh, for the ECB rate. And then uh, Janet Yellen's got a press conference where she'll talk a little bit more about that decision of what the plans are. So keep your eye, we've got to go on to uh, GBP USD actually, sorry. Um, if we have a look at, oh, excuse me, if we have a look at where we are right now, 
Still in the middle of two ranges. One spot 48.59 is the next potential support, uh, with one spot 50.27 being the next potential resistance. And in fact, longer term, you probably look at the tips of these candles, probably going back to here. Again, I'm going to draw this on. If we look at this level right here, uh, one spot 46.40 could be the next potential support level uh, to keep your eyes on. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. Keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out the result of that ECB um, meeting today. And look forward to non-farm perils on Friday. Make sure you don't miss out on our live webinar. Go to support live trader events and sign up to Colin Trakinski and Michael Hewson's uh, webinar. Uh, we'll be, they'll be discussing non-farm perils live as it happens. Thank you very much. Goodbye.